So my name is Tom Durger. I am a, uh, a counselor and a coach at a high school in Cincinnati, LaSalle High School. Uh, I am a husband and a father of three and grandfather to five. He was always there no matter what the situation was. And even if I don't, didn't know what the situation was, he had guidance because he saw what was going on. He's a guidance counselor for a reason. He, he, knows, he knows what he's talking about and he sees each individual's specific situation that they're in and knows how to guide them on the right path to where they want to go. It was actually right around Thanksgiving of 2018. Uh, we, were, we were actually up here. I had had what I thought was a gallbladder attack, um, or at least a tremendous amount of pain, um, and it just wasn't, it wasn't wavering. Right before uh, we played UK, he was going through a week of supplementary chemo, which put a huge toll on him. He had the option of not going down to the game because it was, it was going to be very exhausting. And he said, no, I'm, I'm going to go. It wasn't our best game, but in my college career and in my football career, I would say it's one of my favorite games in hindsight. Because after that game, uh, I had so many family stay behind. It was amazing to see that support system there. I didn't realize, um, even looking in the mirror every day on a daily basis, how drained I had become. And um, the thing that my wife said was, the life was gone out of my eyes but that as soon as I had the transplant, um, she said um, the first time I opened my eyes, she saw the bright spark came back in my eyes. The probability is I wouldn't be here if, uh, if I didn't get the transplant, so. We were able to connect my wife and I and Luke with uh, the wife and the daughter of the guy that donated the liver to me. And, um, and the daughter's a senior in high school, and that's Miranda. And her mom's name is Shauna. Kept saying to her mom, Mom, he's got daddy's liver. He's got daddy's liver. And they miss their dad, uh, Patrick, tremendously. Um, but because of our meeting, they were able to have a connection of something that wasn't gonna be there for him. You know, knowing the decision-making process for you know, donating the organs and seeing that selfless act not only from you know, the, the person that passed and was willing enough to give their organ, organs for someone else, but from the family members that support this and say, we want our loved one to make a difference for someone else, even in death. And that's beautiful to me. There are hundreds of people that need all different kinds of transplants. The situation is that there's not enough donors for all the recipients. Um, I was blessed to receive the liver that I received and, and receive it in time to stave off um, the cancer. But that's not something that everybody has the opportunity to do and there are people that die uh, waiting to get a transplant. Know that being an organ donor makes a difference. Um, for a lot of us, you know, it's something that we just put down on our license when we're like 16 and you know, it doesn't mean much at that point. Know that it means much more than that. Know that it means the absolute world to some people and families. Um, know that it means a second chance. <laughs>